Um, all right. Hey, what's up? I made another uh, Steam OS VM. This one is a bit different than the last one. So you can see we have a separate home and a root partition. Uh, and then I have a, I did a, it was a really way of, lazy way of doing this. I made sudo and alias to say developer mode is not enabled. Uh, to uh, disable uh, pseudo access. Yeah, that's definitely not how Steam will. Uh, that's definitely not how Steam OS will be handling that. But I just have no. I I have no way of doing like an accurate representation of that part of Steam OS. But I did do some cool stuff. Since I don't have pseudo access on this account right now, I can't install packages through the package manager, which means I'm locked to whatever I can do on the home directory. And I did something cool. So with Discover. Right now, if we go to uh, settings, you can see only flat pack, uh, flat hub shows up right here. And this took longer than you'd think to do. If we go to Discord and we install it, um, this bar will bounce back and forth a few times. It's kind of, I don't know why it does that. It's working though. But no, by default, Discover will do, uh, will install flat packs in the root directory. And there was no documentation on how to do this, but I got it to uh, install them in the home directory. So I'll show you that after. Uh, this took. <laughs> This took, this took me the longest out of everything to get the GUI to uh, do a user mode. So it's installed now. We go in here to internet, open Discord. All right, we can see Discord works. All right, perfect. But I'll go prove to you it's in the uh, home partition now. So we're in the home. We go to show hidden files. We go to uh, local share. Um, flat pack and then exports uh you can see discord is in here it's using user mode properly in the in the gui and then also for the terminal uh the terminal it's pretty easy to do uh flat pack in user mode you just type flat pack and then you do dash dash user that's how you put flat pack in user mode through the terminal but i made a uh alias to just make flat pack um uh, so basically my alias is just uh, this, um, right? So flat pack just uh, corrects to flat pack dash user. So whenever flat pack is called into the terminal, it's also user mode. Now, I don't know this for certain, but I'm assuming flat pack is installed by default and I'm assuming it will work like this. I hope they have it set up with the GUI like I did and I hope they alias it to user mode so it doesn't like error out and it just works. But as you can see, we can install packages and they kind of just work. I'll close Discord there too. Okay, so now let's try downloading like the Epic Games store without using a uh, Pac-Man. So we'll see if Lutris is in here. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, we'll just uh, copy these instructions then. All right, even though we did that all in the terminal, after the part where you add the uh, repository, I believe the rest of it should show up in here. Yeah, you can see it shows up in here now. So this is really the only command we needed to do in the terminal. The rest of it I just did because we're here already anyway. And I mean, I imagine this would be marked as a dependency, but I'll do that anyways because it tells me to. Lutris right there. The icon hasn't loaded up, loaded yet, but it should uh, eventually. All right, sweet. Now if we just go to Lutris, uh, community installers, and we'll search for Epic Games right there. Hit install, hit install again. It defaults to the home directory. So we have access to that. We're good. We can install, uh, download, continue. Yes, um, install, show details. I have no idea what any of that means. All right, we'll just hope it works anyways. All right, installation complete. We'll see if it worked. Ah, that's a good sign. That's a very good sign. There we go. Yeah, so that should work. I believe we did that without ever having to touch the root file system. So yeah, we'll just stop that now. Yeah, so basically, 
I think they'll have Discover set up like this because I imagine they'll want some sort of GUI for people to download packages with. You can update your flat packs and stuff through here if Discover is the route they go for the GUI. I can't really predict how they'll do system updates exactly. That'll be handled on them. You'll probably just have a button to do it in Steam or something. Uh, yeah, this is this is my prediction for how things will be handled because flat pack was mentioned. Yeah, I guess we can go over KDE too. KDE is kind of cool. Uh, this part is mostly just for the people who are new to Linux and don't know what KDE is, but you've got your system settings here. Pretty much anything you could ever want to change would be in here. Yeah, I just set up root and <laughs> the home partition separately. I didn't give myself uh, root access and set up Flatpak to work in user mode by default through the GUI. That's pretty much all this is. And this is about as much as I feel comfortable trying to accurately predict. But based on the developer conference and based off of the tweet from that one, uh, from that one guy that works at Valve, this should be uh, pretty, pretty accurate. But uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want more content like this. It really helps. Uh, like if you liked it. That also really helps. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all later.